All right, today we're going to be looking at the AI planner from Elementor because the other day I was playing with it again to see if they have made some improvements and something happened. It created a wireframe in color, although I told it not to do it. So I want to see if I give it another prompt, it will do that. Let's get into it. All right we are on elementor's website okay so if you want to access the ai planner just go here to products and navigate all the way to ai site planner click and you will be able to describe your project right here yeah and let's just say i want a landing page for a water bottle i want a landing page let's say for a high end high end okay so let's generate now um it's going to generate the brief and i noticed something it goes on to generate everything for you when in my previous video it asked one by one what i wanted this to be for example the goals what goals i want to achieve what tone of voice i want it to be side map audience etc etc so it's basically now thinking all by itself or giving you the best option that it knows which is very interesting so let's start by understanding your project requirements better could you please tell me the name of your company let's say bristol waters okay this is the name of our company <laughs> completely made up on the spot right now. <laughs> okay cool wow and it saves you time it doesn't take you through all the questions uh, if you're okay with this, then you can generate. If not, you have not the option. I don't know if this was an option then because I did not hover over all these uh, summary questions. And as you can see, you can reply to each and every one of them. So if you don't want the tone and voice to be premium sophisticated, reply to it. Yeah. And you can say i don't know if if i click on this i don't think it's going to go to this question so give me some other options let's see this is quite interesting honestly okay modern and edgy warm and inviting we wanted modern and edgy let's see what happens okay so it's changed the motor the tone and voice to modern and edgy okay now let's focus on the primary goals of the website what would you say are the key objectives to ensure it's a success i think we want brand awareness engage community and of course boost sales the usual right i love it honestly okay cool goals awesome okay okay i think we are okay so what now could you please specify the core features that you'd like to have on your website this could include things like an image gallery detailed product okay custom reviews image gallery detailed description you can also add from your own these are just suggestions okay so if you want more you can add more to it okay okay very nice okay so we have to specify to be to provide the specific services or product offered by crystal waters water bottles okay all of them all of them okay you might not want to start with all but you want to prepare for the future so you have to build a website to accommodate future requirements to reach your goals okay build loyal customer base i like that grow an email list and launch new products i'm not going to come up with new things right now on the spot because there can be many things but as you can see it takes you through all the goals or all the brief summary questions or points and it asks you if these are okay once you change one it seems like i don't know what do you think what what have you experienced this with the brief summary have you interacted with it in any way so let me know in the comments below i'm really curious okay okay proceed with optional questions should we do that or use this brief let's go with the use this brief i think it's oh this time it's a strong brief in the last video i reached the point of good brief i think it was and it just you know asked me if i want to use that brief so if you go further it takes you even further so probably it's like excellent and super the best and the mostest with the hostest so 
Uh, yeah, let's let's see. Okay, I think I did that already. No. Okay, now it's going to generate our site plan and everything for us. Actually, wireframe styles they're not yet out they're still working on it i guess but yes let's see what do we have here we are interested in the sitemap yes fine but i want to see the wireframe so let's just have a brief look over here look at this it created this time it created pages or it will create pages for uh the shop product page cart checkout my account it went all in this time okay last time it didn't and this is a full-on shop it's more than a landing page i would say it went beyond our requirements but it's good to know and good to have all right let's see the wireframe of course you can use whatever you want from this the generated wireframe pages you don't have to use everything so as i said as you can see we have some color introduced already and this does look like your typical woocommerce product page look at that i think this is amazing i am really curious if they did anything to improve this or the 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 actual the ai site planner product i love it and it's still generating it's still working on it let's see terms and conditions very cool returns and refunds my account it's unbelievable seriously this is the woocommerce checkout how cool is this i am i am impressed i am impressed this is something that if you want to build a small little shop for a client this is so easy to show them what it can be done uh you don't have to really do this word by word let's say but show them what it will look like so you don't have to design all this before the client says okay let's go on and let's do super high fidelity uh mockups of the website right in figma straight away that would be a lot of time spent designing before you show it to the client for approval so this helps you not waste time and let's see tablet okay cool look on mobile i mean how amazing is that you get to see how this would look on different devices i don't know guys i think this is uh, fantastic okay let's go back to the wireframe we want to create the website okay so right now we can also share the project so you can share the you can share the project with others by sharing a, a link with them but you have to make sure that this is not locked yeah so you have to do this and then done and copy the link basically actually let's go to share and copy the link and you give the link to whoever yeah and they will go in and they will check it out that will, could be a client obviously or a partner that you're working on uh, with on the project easy so we want to create a website but we're gonna use cloudways okay so we're gonna export the kit and i'm gonna go in cloudways to have it built there okay and i will speed this up and i'll return All right, so now we are able to download the kit and we can add it to any hosting. So let's do that. So I'm going to log in into Cloudways and I am going to install Elementor and I am going to import my kit. All right, so let's log in. All right, so let's add a server. I'm going to go and create one server here and select my application. It's going to be WordPress. I'm going to name it AI planner website or landing okay let's call it landing better page <laughs> i'm gonna call it the same okay and the same all right i'm gonna go with two it's going to be frankfurt because we are in europe and uh i'm ready to launch i think that's it yeah i'm gonna go with digital ocean the best for now and now it's going to create the server it's going to take some time and i'm going to return once this is done all right so our server is ready so we can go and do our thing okay so let's go to our server 
let's go to the application and we have a login we have the login details right here okay so i'm gonna go and open it so it's gonna take us in the back end basically as soon as we log in with our details so i'm gonna copy the details the username is my email so right place this and log in uh, i'm not gonna save it dismiss this and we are going to add our first plugin which is going to be elementor yeah add new plugin let's look for plugins first we need elementor install and we need to add elementor pro as well okay activate if you know how to do these steps don't follow along because it, this is just maybe too much i'm gonna skip all this skip 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 i'm gonna skip and actually i'm gonna go back to the dashboard and i want to install my uh, theme the hello theme that i usually use with any project that i work on in elementor so okay as you are in your uh, dashboard go to appearance go to themes yeah and let's see by default we have one of these uh, wordpress themes i'm gonna go and look for hello and it's here install and we are going to activate and that is that now i'm gonna go back to my plugins add new plugin and i'm gonna go and add elementor pro all right so i just uploaded uh elementor i'm gonna activate the plugin Elementor pro activate the plugin and as you can see i need to connect and active it's done all right now we have to go to all right so now as you are in elementor navigate to tools and go to import export kit and this is where you're going to import the kit that you just downloaded if you did from the ai planner okay so start import so we can upload our kit right here and go next okay it's going to add quite a few things so let's see what we are getting this might take a while and it depends on how many elements you have on so or plugins or anything like that okay content wise so let's see i'm a little bit worried last time it worked really well but it wasn't a landing page and now i'm not sure it created pages but i asked for a landing page i don't know okay all right so includes one footer one 404 page header single post blah 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 but i don't see ah, an 11 page okay you know what let's go and see it i'm really nervous let's see it live and <laughs> so nervous okay this looks not like it looked on ah actually it does guys this is cool I mean, the images were not actually... How cool is this? Maybe they, it needs a little bit more time for the images to appear. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go in the back end to see uh, if we have images in there. So as you can see, it's clickable. So if you want to create something like this for a client so they can see how the website would work, I think this is pretty easy to do. Okay, this doesn't work. Now let's see what else. Buttons are not gonna... But yeah, of course, you could work this further so you can make it better. Okay, let's go to the shop and let's go and have a look at the beanie. Okay, okay, let's go in the back end and let's see what we have in there. All right, so let's go to pages first of all. And it created all the pages that we needed. We didn't want the whole shop but it created a whole shop. I wanted a landing page, but nevertheless, it's all good. It's all fine. And let's see what it created here. It's not a, a full on website, obviously, and you should not expect that because that's not the point of it. Uh, <laughs> guys, this is so cool. So imagine you have a client and you build this, like what it took me a little bit longer because I'm filming this video, but otherwise it would take you probably not more than an hour. So you can come up with a, a quick idea for the website in case your client is not sure if they're going to, if they want to work with you. So you can, you know, one up the competition, I would say. So let's go to plugins. Let's see what it installed. So we had Elementor, Elementor Pro, and it added WooCommerce. Obviously, 
for obvious reasons yeah so this was a quick quick one to see if there's any change in terms of uh, ai planner and where they are with the development that's where we are so yeah let me know if you have any comments if you have any experience with uh the ai planner if there's something that we should know everything and anything in the comments below so we can check it out yeah, cool